Hello, family, friends, and followers. It's been a while. A couple days ago, I posted the first video on YouTube in over two years. It was a technical one. It was about how to create a virtual whiteboard. But this one is going to be a little bit different. This isn't going to go back to telling you about my life. I'm telling you a little bit about what uh, I'm doing right now and those kinds of things. So I hope you enjoy it. Life progress is like what I call it. This past week marked a one year anniversary of the pandemic around the world. Uh, it's been a hard year for everybody and I completely recognize uh, that. For us, we moved into a new state. It was planned before the pandemic happened. As the pandemic was arriving in uh, April of last year, actually March of last year. And uh, we moved into a new house and we now live in Arizona uh, instead of Washington uh, state. So we were really busy during the first three or four months setting up the new house, setting up the new uh, environment and those kinds of things. Thankfully, after her graduation, our daughter decided to move to Arizona as well and tried to find a job here. So it was great to have her during the summer months here with us. It was super cool and we were very proud of her during that process. She worked really hard in trying to find a job uh, along the way. Speaking of summer, it was an interesting one. Uh, for a lot of us, it was the first time we spent uh, days with 116, 117 degrees outside. So we spent very little time outside and uh, we spent a lot of time on the inside. So uh, we followed the COVID rules. <laughs> Then fall happened and uh, temperatures came down and the election temperature went up. And I, for one, am very happy to have new leadership in the United States. Christmas season turned around and we were very happy to receive 2021. And six days into it, the Capitol terrorism attack happened. Like many of you, I was uh, upset, disappointed, uh, sad, uh, and totally upside down about it. You might have seen some of my social media postings out there. It was, it took me a couple, it took me a couple of weeks to, to assimilate it all. And uh, it was a hard uh, pill to swallow. For that to happen in the United States was frankly inconceivable. It really was. Throughout this entire year, I have been very thankful to be very busy with my uh, work at Dell Technologies. Of course, it has been uh, very different from what I was uh, used to doing. It has all now been uh, remote. No flying, no physical visits anywhere. Lots of remote calls using Zoom and Team. As I mentioned, I've been very thankful to work uh, for a great company like Dell. Uh, but really, the heroes uh, of this entire uh, remote work pandemic, those kinds of things, I need to give a big shout out to the teachers. The teachers have been absolutely incredible. The amount of work that they do, the attention, you've seen some of the videos out there, has been absolutely incredible. So teachers, wow. I mean, you deserve much more credit than you are actually getting today. It's been unbelievable. But, uh, I've seen it firsthand with some of the friends. I've seen it on social media. I've seen it everywhere uh, where you have had to adapt to keeping the attention of your students uh, young students and uh, teenage students, and just your students in general, um, as part of your uh, process, and it has been uh, incredible to see, to to have seen that, to uh, have seen you adapt to that process. So kudos to you. Being at home has been really interesting uh, experience, and of course, it's been for the most part great. From time to time, my wife and I get to each other's nerves, like all most couples, but overall. Not bad at all. We actually uh, have talked about this and we've been surprised that after uh, me being away seven days, uh, five days a week uh, traveling and her being on her own, we've been able to adapt and quickly uh, adjust to the new circumstances. So uh, again, uh, kudos to my wife for adapting. On. We learned and adjusted quickly. We learned and adjusted quick. We learned and adjusted quickly. That, <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. We learned just a couple of days ago, I was telling uh, a friend that one of the things that I miss the most about uh, traveling or in general about uh, uh, being away is th that time when you come back from a long day uh, at work or traveling or, or with customers, uh, you ch go into the hotel and then you come down uh, to have uh, dinner and you sit in the bar, you open the laptop 
to start catching up on the works, on the day's work, the real work, not, not the, a customer with visits or meetings or those kinds of things. So you're there typing, uh, having a drink, and uh, you start people watch around the uh, bar relaxing and those kinds of things. So uh, that time, that sound, the, uh, the laughs, the people watching is what I really uh, have missed the most out of traveling and working with people and, and being out there uh, on the field. So, yep, uh, that's a, I was just telling that to somebody the other day. Aside from that, uh, podcasts and audiobooks have really taken a toll they have i've not listened to there's no, just no time with between work between attention to the family the house i, I mean i used to do a lot of podcast uh, listening uh and audiobook listening on planes as i was traveling from one place to the other keeping up with podcasts and industry news and those kinds of things completely gone i listen to them when i can of course but uh, that is just not uh, it, it hasn't been a priority nor a, a, a thing. In fact, the funny part is a lot of my podcasts have stopped broadcasting. So others have come along, but the ones that I used to listen to uh, are no longer being produced. I don't know if that is going to be a thing or is going to be a permanent or just a pause temporary. Interesting. Speaking of learning, I'm always learning something new. I, I've been doodling all my life, but a couple of years ago, uh, my wife gave me some uh, postcards. So instead of doodling on uh, my notebooks and those kinds of things, I do a doodle on the postcards. And just before the pandemic, before uh, all of that, uh, in December 2020, I made a commitment to myself that I was going to do a lot more doodling. And I was going to doodle every day. It's, it's very, very relaxing. So what I uh, started doing is I started doing doodling uh, on the cards. And with the pandemic, that increased because it made me relax more. It was uh, all day intense work. At the end, just before I go to bed, I'll come to the desk and start a drawing. That turned into, can I put in a gallery online? Can I, can I create videos on YouTube about it? And from that, uh, doodlingjorge.com, uh, if you haven't checked it, check it out, was born. And I learned a lot through the process. I still produce uh, videos every uh, couple of weeks. I post them on my Doodling Jorge uh, YouTube channel. I have Instagram. I have uh, several uh, hundred uh, followers. I hope to have more at some point. But the point is, I've learned a lot along the way. And uh, it's been a great hobby uh, at the moment. And it's worked out very well for me uh, during the pandemic. So it's, it's been a very relaxing way of getting my mind to relax. Lately, uh, some of the work that I've been doing has inspired me to do uh, better virtual presentations. Everybody is Zoom fatigued, so I've been teaching others how to do those better uh, virtual presentations. And I use uh, OBS, a, a tool, uh, an open source tool out there that do that with different scenes and different kinds of things, which, which I don't do on these videos, but I do for work because, again, part of maintaining that audience engaged and very important. The more uh, different that you are in Zoom, the, the, the better attention you, you will get from them and better participation and those kinds of things. So I've been teaching others how to do that. And I've posted a couple of those videos on how to do that on my LinkedIn as well as my uh, YouTube channel here. So I hope you enjoy those. I've always uh, liked to share my knowledge. So definitely uh, check it out and there will be more to come. So having said all of this, this pandemic has been uh, life-changing for all of us. We have had to adjust to living in different, very different lives from what we used to be doing. The world has changed and has had to adjust to it. That's everybody uh, out there. And from what I understand, what's going on in Europe right now, we are getting better, but the end of the tunnel is not uh, as clear as we had hoped. The vaccines are helping, the masks are helping, and all of those elements are helping, but we really need to continue to be vigilant and aware. The virus war has not been won yet. We're winning one of the battles, but uh, the war is far from ending. Please stay vigilant, wear masks, and be cautious out there and be aware. I realize how lucky I am. I am very, very thankful to my family, to my friends, to my work, to my uh, co-workers, to everybody around me. Uh, it's been uh, really tough for a lot of people. I'm just going to close by saying every life matters. Uh, be kind to everybody. And there's no room uh, 
uh, in this world for any kind of hate. Uh, we have enough going on. That's it. I hope you like the update and see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.